Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about Octominer 12 GPU Extreme Edition. This is loaded with EVGA XC3. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe at the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking for us to set you up an ASIC or GPU mining farm, we have one right here. It's not a big one for one of our clients. We got multiple locations, so we can set up multiple farms at multiple locations all at the same time. Or if you're looking for an ASIC farm. We also sell GPUs and ASICs, good prices right now. If you want to jump in and get yourself some cards, right now is a good time to buy them. So right now, temperature outside is about 90 degrees, it's very hot. And we're testing out Octominer. And the cards we have are the EVGA XC3 cards. So first thing I'm going to show you guys. Oh, and before we get started, uh, Bitcoin saves your wealth. And Jesus Christ saves your soul. So make sure you have one and the other. All right, so we got our EVGAs. You can see the space between them. I can put my finger in there. See that? The fans are all on right now, so I'm not going to put my finger in there. But the space is pretty good. It's about like a... Put my finger flat down. You can see I still have some more here. So it's pretty good. It's probably like a finger and a half in width. Good spacing um, in terms of size. It looks like probably like one inch or a little bit less than one inch, maybe like three quarters distance between the cards. So the cards have a good distance between them. They have a good distance between them. Also the distance here, you can see as well, is not too close. As you remember from our previous video, we had gigabyte three fan cards and they were almost to the very edge over here these XC3s have some space so that's good that allows some more airflow to come in there so our airflow is coming in hitting the back plate right here cooling that off where our VRAM is on the inside and we have our fans for the uh, EVGAs so the EVGAs have three fans probably show you here there's one there's two, there's three. So you got three fans there. So what we're gonna be testing is we're gonna be testing, let me focus that. We're gonna be testing how this Octominer handles EVG XC3 when it gets cooler outside. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you the internals and how it looks with EVG XC3. And then when it gets cool at night, I'm gonna show you the results. So we'll see what the results are. But so far, this is how it's loaded up. I'm also gonna put the lid on it uh, before I show any further testing or, or actually show you the results. We have our standard five fans. One, two, three, four, five. And this is our test Octominer. So it's not in a permanent position or anything like that. It's just here for testing out different cards. We already did Turbo from Gigabyte. We also did Gigabyte 3 fan. So today's test is gonna be the EVGA XC3. Other details about this setup is a standard Octominer. It's got three PSUs in there. Total of 4,200 watts. So this is the upgraded version of Octominer. Uh, right now it's mining. Everything's going good. It's been mining like this actually for days. Didn't get a chance to do the video yet, but now that I got the chance making the video, it's working off of just one plug here. So we got our test ethernet going down there and then just plug it into one outlet. So everything's great. 12 GPUs, let me show you from this side. All PSUs are good. All cards are great. Everything is good. So let me put the lid on. All right, we got our lid on. This is how it looks like with the lid on on those same EVGA XC3. So now we're just gonna wait until it gets dark outside, this hot weather goes away, and we'll show you the results. All right, so I have that rig running here, the uh, XC3 from EVGA, 3080 rig. I'm actually at home right now, so I'm looking at it remotely um, through our computer here and we can see the results so these xc3s right now is about 60 degrees fahrenheit outside 
um, maybe 60, 65, so it's not hot or anything. It's a little warm, but we can see the results here. So we got all our 12 GPUs here. All of them are EVGA XC3. And we are getting maximum speed, but the VRAM's at 104. Maximum speed, VRAM at 104. This one is also maximum speed. It's a little bit down clocked, but that's fine. Still very close to max speed. This one here is down clocked on the, on the power. See, it's at 104 because we have HiveOS set where it won't allow to go past that number. It'll actually turn down the power. So we can see that the power is turned down for this car. That's why it's at 89. Then we have full speed here, 99. A little bit down, a little bit down, full speed, full speed, down, full speed, full speed, full speed. So it looks like these cards are not doing a good job. Um, these cards need to have their VRAM uh, pads replaced. The core is good. Look at the core. Core is 40, 41, 41, 38, 40, 39, 40, and so on. So the core is good, but the VRAM is not good. I mean, it's okay, but that's not good enough. It should be better than that. That's kind of high, um, but it is doable. Because again, they go to 110 before they actually start turning off, turning off the card where the card overheats. So you still have some space, but that's not good. That's not good enough. I mean, we do, our target is 95, not 104. So these cards um, need to have their pads, their thermal pads replaced. The core looks perfect. Nothing wrong off the core. Core is fine. So um, this has been running for a couple days now, and this is the results here. So I took the previous two videos, the one where I showed the cards. I mean, this same video you're watching this on. Um, see right there, it jumped up to 106, it's gonna jump back down. But the same one you just watched, um, that one was actually recorded two days ago because I give these rigs some time to load and to make sure that I open it up on a day of like 60, 65, so I can get some good results. So uh, these cards, even though there's so much space between them for the Octominer, they still pretty much suck, all right? These cards are just not good for Octominer. Now, in terms of the speeds for Octominer, you can see that Octominer is running external external fans at 100%. I had that set manually, so they just run at 100% forever. So even at that speed, it still is not good. And you can see also that the uh, the GPUs are all running at basically 100%. So um, core is 1,100, so the core is basically clocked to the max to give it that 99 mega hash is what it's supposed to give it so cards are just not good